the sheer amount of songs we were shooting in a day were unheard of. I don't think if I had stopped to think about it, I would have realized we could do such a thing. I think last season I had 12 numbers or so, and this season was like 16 to 18 numbers. A lot more, <laughs> they were bigger and, and flashier and more camera angles. If we had one day to shoot a number, we only had that day. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Joffin. I was the DP on Schmigadoon. Hi, I'm Christopher Gatelli, choreographer of Schmigadoon. And this is how I did it. This is how I did it. I saw Schmigadoon season one and I absolutely loved it, but it was basically one look for the show, a really beautiful look. I like to be challenged, I like to do more things. So when they told me with season two, they wanted to be grittier, more like Chicago, cabaret, and they even threw in hair and Godspell. So there were all these different looks mingling and it was very exciting. I feel like Fosse really upped the ante in terms of how he used the camera to film dance. And so aside from just the choreography, it was also trying to replicate the different camera angles. So it had that 60s, 70s feel as well. I would do pre-production in New York and they were already starting in Vancouver, and we would do the pre-production in the room, we would edit it here, and then send it on, and John would say, oh, can you get it like this? So it was such a great marriage of him understanding the style and really understanding how to heighten the dance the way they did in that period. Cinco Paul and Chris would always have a very clear idea of how they needed and wanted to shoot the performance. Everything is shot pretty much from one angle at a time, as if you're the audience in the theater. So I tried not to be too fancy with the shooting. We had four cameras, but we would keep them very close together and we would vary the sizes. And I have to hand it to my gaffer, Todd Lapp. He had a lot of options available at all times. He had the dimmer board right next to me and he was easily able to change things and show me different options because Chris knew exactly how to choreograph for the camera. And I think that's what sets him apart from other choreographers and talk to dad he wanted the camera to follow Jenny's feet as she walked through the seats. There's a shot in Cabaret that's very specific of Fosse following Liza's feet as she comes out on stage. I think there was like maybe 12 inches in the bus and we didn't have any kind of camera tool that would fit. So we came up with the idea of screwing the camera to a skateboard and we rolled the skateboard right through. One that I really think he really upped the ante of was everyone's got to get naked. I kept saying to Cinco, I was like, this is a really tough one because I know the clips should be fast, but other than them like teasing, taking off something slow, I'm not sure how that can sustain. We we're testing a probe lens to do a shot through the prison bars and we discovered that it had a kaleidoscope attachment to it. We shot a little test and I showed it to Cinco and Chris and they're like, oh my God, this would be great for everybody's gotta get naked. He embraced that whole cinematic vocabulary of the 70s, not even in terms of like choreography, but just those lenses and filters. It just lifted it towards the end of the number and gave it that extra punch that we needed. And when I finally saw the final cut, I was like, oh God, amazing. My absolute favorite scene is Bells and Whistles. We had a day and a half to shoot that scene. So we came out in the morning into the courtroom and out came Jane Krakowski, down from the ceiling upside down. She was roller skating blindfolded. It was the most fearless performance I'd ever seen. And myself and my crew were completely inspired by it. And all we wanted to do was shoot as much as we could so we could do justice to it. Jane got to Vancouver and I went to meet her and she was like, if I'm riding in on a trapeze, can I swing from it? And I was like, would you want to? She was like, absolutely. She's like, I can't just enter on a trapeze and not do anything. And she said, there's a trapeze school right down the street. So I'm happy to start taking classes because they've designed the set specifically for the trapeze to come in and out. The courtroom wasn't wide enough for its pendulum. So they had to open the back and widen the room and change all the measurements so that she could pendulum. Any single person could have easily said, it's okay, like that's gonna be a lot of work, but everyone was like, nope, absolutely, that's a great idea, we're doing it. And like, that's the kind of passion everyone on the set had, like for everything. There was one shot that we needed through the jury and you see her leaning in, talking to them. And after the day and a half of shooting, Jane was wrapped off the show already, but she decided to come back in the morning. So we all pulled together and squeezed it into our schedule, got that shot. And we had a really great thing happen on that shot too. We were adjusting the gels on the frames and the lights were brought down to the ground. 
and I was looking through the lens and it just looked so great like that. I'm like, don't take it up, let's just shoot. So we just rolled. It was one of those happy accidents. And she's like, I've never done Chicago and it's my favorite show. Like that's why I'm a performer because of Chicago and I've always wanted to do that show. And so this was also exciting for her because she got to fulfill a little dream. We knew it was ambitious, but Jane got everything the first time. It took longer to move the camera than it did to capture the footage, really, because she was so on top of it. I felt like it was the best collaboration I've ever had on a film set with an actor. I saw an interview that she did after the fact, and she talks about it as being one of the best days she's ever had on a film set. To be able to share that moment with her and feel the same way, I think is something really special. I don't think that happens very often. I certainly hope this won't be a split decision. With John and I, he was able to capture so much of what was in my head. And when I saw the edits, I couldn't believe that we actually did it. I hope I get to work with him again because he was like a stunt coordinator for dance. It was really a perfect collaboration.